I think that's how they do in the movies, you know, like there's like this them and it's like the last person on earth or whatever. And like they're like trying to make a survival video and they're like, oh, <laughs> that'd be funny. Uh, anyways, yo, what up, Super Video? It's John Buck. And today, today, guys, back in the game with another video, y'all. And today is Scripture Sunday. Every Sunday, I read Scripture. And I know what you're saying, Jobs. You missed last Sunday. Guys, I literally posted a video, but it was unlisted. <laughs> Unlisted on accident. I I need to reset it to where all my videos are public. Like the video I posted last week was unlisted. It's weird. But uh, anyway, I'm sorry guys about that. Uh, it was it was a replay of a video because I had a, a little I had a speaking speaking engagement y'all. Speaking engagement. I had a church, and so I just replayed that one. But we're back at it with another scripture Sunday. Every Sunday we read a scripture from the Word of God and we break it down so it can help your life. Yeah, that's what we do here. So let's get into it. Alright y'all, so today's scripture is Romans 8.31, 8, Romans 8.31, and actually, I have a question before we talk about the scripture. So, have you ever, for any, anybody, you can answer this in the comments, you can just answer it to yourself watching this video. Have you ever got some, uh, just gotten some things in your life that make you feel like the odds are slim, makes you feel like you're on a 10 on 1, it's like you against 10 people, things are coming at you from all different directions, and it just feels overwhelming. Have you ever felt that before? And feel like the odds are slim and all that. Well, this scripture I'm about to read is an answer to that. Well, actually, this scripture is a question to that thing you're experiencing. And it's Romans 8.31. It says this. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who? Who? Who can be against us? Sorry, y'all, let's break this thing down. So, y'all, like I said, this scripture is a question to those things that you may experience or you're experiencing right now. And we say to those things, if God is for us, who can be against us? The thing you're going through, that situation, that battle, tell to say to that, God is for me, who can be against me? One big question I wanted to talk to y'all, one big question I want y'all to realize, and it's that if God's for us, who or what can be against you? Literally think about that. God, the creator of the universe, is at your side. He's for you. There is no thing, there's not a thing in the world, not a thing that stands a chance when God is at your side. God's at your side, y'all. God at your side is like uh, you having LeBron James at your side playing basketball. God is at your side. You, God, will never leave you, never forsake you. And you gotta remember that because you can get so focused on a thing that's coming against you that you forget who's for you, and that's God. Don't lose focus on who's at your side. The enemy will try to say all these things like, hey, look, what, look what's coming in this direction, look what's coming in that direction, look what's coming over here, look what's coming up there. Hey, don't listen to that. Remember that God is right there at your side. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere, y'all. Look at the things in your life. This scripture says, what then shall we say to these things? And that's things right here, John, put, put things right here, those things, represent the challenges, situation, and even people in your life that are coming against you. And it's saying to that, saying to those things, hey, God's with me. You can't be against me. If God's for me, who can be against you? And I like how it's in question because it's asking those things and it's also asking yourself. It's putting it into perspective. It's making sure that you're aware that if God is for you, who can be against you? What can be against you? Once you take a minute, you can pause the video. What, what are your What are your things? It could be anything, y'all. Anything that's coming at you that make that can feel intimidating. Anything coming against you that makes you feel um, overwhelmed. What are What are your things? And whatever it is, I want you to say to yourself, and I want you to say to that thing: If God be for me, who can be against you? And guys, when God is for you, God is for you. I'm gonna say it one more time: When God is for you, God is for you. He's not like humans, y'all. He's not gonna. Uh, be there on Monday, then leave Tuesday, uh, decide to come back Wednesday, then uh, say, I'm done Thursday. Nah, God is with you 24-7, every hour, every minute, every second. God's not going anywhere. God's not leaving you. God's not forsaking you. God's not like Greg from Everybody Hates Chris, who um, is with Chris all the time, but then when the bullies come, runs away. Nah, God is with you when the bullies come. God's with you when the trouble comes. God's with you there, so you don't have to worry. No matter what comes your way, no matter where things may come, if God is for you, who or what can be against you? Nothing. 
nothing, y'all. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's scripture Sunday. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. Just go ahead and um, step in the journey with me. We're gonna roll, roll to 400 subscribers, y'all. We're growing, continue to grow every day. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Um, feel free to go check out my website, jobsbooks.com. And uh, yeah, guys, so without further ado, uh, Stay positive, stay happy, and remember, never give up. I'll see you next time. Peace.